Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek and today I'm going to be showing you how to diagnose and fix a no charging issue on an iPad Air 2. Now this diagnosis and repair is basically universal across any device with a lightning port. Everything from iPad, iPhone, even the case for the AirPods. This iPad Air 2 has had the battery replaced because that was supposedly the issue that this wasn't charging or turning on. It does turn on with the battery, but it still doesn't charge. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to diagnose this and how we fix it. Let's get into the video. Here I have the TriStar tester. What we're gonna do is we will plug it in, turn it on. It says device connected. So we'll hit quick test and it says that the charge port is okay and it's running through this test and whenever I see it stop on 7% and on 63% where it takes extra time I basically automatically know that there is an issue with TriStar which is located right here on the logic board. On a lot of iPads you'll find it right here some of them down here but this one right under the metal frame right there. Here you can see we are stuck on 63% again and it's taking its time, but there it goes. It says warning, and if we look at more information, it tells us that we've got a fail on one and five. There are several lines that this is testing, and it has a fail on those, which means we just need to replace TriStar. So now that we got the motherboard out, I'm gonna take you under the microscope so that I can show you the whole process in fixing it. My process is fairly straightforward. With the scalpel, I'm going to score two lines following the frame here so we don't tear up the frame. Coming in with some wire cutters, I'm going to carefully peel back, kind of like you would, and peel back a tin can lid. Just going to carefully roll it back and have it follow those score lines. This way I leave the frame intact so that you can't tell that it's been worked on when we turn it's time to come put the shield back. I like to take my time in this. You can just kind of tear it off, but you run the risk of pulling the ground, uh, the ground pads that this is attached to and that can mess with traces below. So I'm just gonna take my time to clip that off just like that. Now we need to remove the tri-star I see. This is the corner where the dot is, just to remind myself. I'm going to take my hot air at about 450 degrees Celsius, mid airflow, and given a little bit of time, we'll see some movement and we'll be able to pop it off. I'm going to take uh, some 138 solder paste. With my soldering iron, we're going to mix that with the factory solder. This will help it so that we can wick it much easier without pulling any pads. So now what I'm going to do is take some wick, add some flux, I'm going to come in and absorb all of that solder, leaving nice flat pads. We'll clean up all of the flux with some isopropyl alcohol. Now we just need a new TriStar. This is a fairly simple method. All I need to do is add some flux, get our new TriStar, line up the dot in that top left corner. And then with the same heat, with a lower, a little less low, a little lower airflow, we're going to come in and let it slowly sink down to the board and stick. It's really close, so I'm going to add some flux now, and we're going to watch it kind of dance into position. And there we go. Now that it's cooled down a little bit, I'm going to add some isopropyl alcohol and clean up the flux and we're ready to test it. Now, let's take our TriStar tester. We'll plug it on in. We're gonna hit exit. And then we're gonna do a quick test again. So the charge port is okay, and look, it's flying through the test. It means we're gonna pass it. So now we are working. Let's go ahead and reassemble it and give it a final charge test. Moment of truth. Will it charge? And we're just looking for that lightning bolt. 
And there we go. Got it. Flip it around just to double check. Everything's good. And there we go. We are charging. All right, that's how to replace the TriStar on an iPad Air 2. Very similar to all other iPads and other Apple products. If there's something that you'd like to see in a future video, leave it in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.